you know, it's great, you know, just to get back playing well, get some guys playing playing well for us. Tyler stepped up for us. Um, but our goal is to keep um, keep winning and um, you know take it one game at a time. What was the low spot for you? I was just missing shots. It wasn't nothing mental. You know, um, I ain't take it to the head. You know, I've been through that, but you know, I just kept leading the team and doing what I had to do to help us, you know, get through our struggles. Was there a specific point where you were just the lowest or you thought you'd never get back? What do you mean by lowest? The well, lowest point mentally, you know. No, nah, it didn't affect me mentally at all. You know, I was just missing shots and I just kept taking them and, you know, I came out with a 30-point game, I came out with some other games. No, I, I meant more as a team. Was there a low spot for a team, Wisconsin, Northwestern, one of those games? Uh, oh, no. You know, we, you know, we just, just lost, you know. Uh, outplayed us, out toughed us. Some games, you know, uh, we came out the aggressor, and some games we didn't. But we, um, we learned from, we learned from our mistakes. We got to come out aggressor every game and play 40 minutes. Go ahead. Player of the week took took you a while to get one, but you got one finally, huh? You know, that's always a blessing. Uh, some something I'll have under your belt. But uh, at the same time, we got a lot more things to accomplish as a team. Um, hopefully, I can uh, we can get that and you know get more confidence in myself and make uh, more shots. Um, you know, and still keep the team what I've been doing for the team for us to win. Why do you think Purdue has had your number over the years, eight straight wins? You know, they um, basically out us. us. Um, you know, they're more aggressive, and um, we let some of the star players and some of the guys that's not factors be factors in games that, you know, um, that they shouldn't be. You know, some guys um, step up most of the time on the team, and um, we got to do a better job of that. You guys said without your mouthpiece, you're even louder now. You know, I, I took it out. You know, I talk a lot more, uh, especially in practice. Um, in the game, I talk a lot. Especially in the second half, with us being away from the bench, um, us defending and coach not being down here. I'm um, in the first half, defend, um, in the bench yelling to us. So, you know, I got to do a um, great job on the uh, on the second half of the floor, uh, where there's no coaches or uh, nobody on the team yelling the plays or nothing like that. We notice you hollering in Indiana and Minnesota to kind of have that carryover effect. You know, it's just a maturity thing. You know, I kind of kept us together. You know, just kept talking to us. Um, coach Gross called me. You know, just kept telling me to stay on these guys. You know, I got to be the uh, most vocal leader on the team, and I've been doing a good job of, you know, staying vocal and doing it in a positive way. DJ, is this team winning because it's more comfortable in the system overall? Um, you know, um, sometimes we really don't trust the system. You know, um, you know, just a little bit of scouting report stuff. Um, but you know, we're getting better offensively. Um, we're doing a better job defensively. Uh, we got to keep doing that. Just case, stay consistent with it. Is it something that's kind of weighing on you and, and Brandon and Tyler, this whole Purdue thing? It's just a little bit stressful. No, we're just taking this as another game. Obviously, it's a big game. You know, obviously, we want to win because we um, haven't beaten Purdue. You know, we're taking it. You know, we're taking the one game at a time, and hopefully, we can go in this game and uh, get a victory.